She doesn't want to be different. She wants to do what all the other kids are doing. I don't think we ever dreamed when Lucy was born that we would be able to have the same opportunities that we had in a Catholic school. We wanted for Ben what we wanted for other children, and that was the opportunity for him to be challenged and encouraged to be the best that he could be. Up till now, there have been very limited opportunities for children with disabilities to attend Catholic schools. There are schools that would like to enroll students with disabilities, but they don't have the funds. Francesca started to gather parents who had special children um, who were interested in seeing them attend Catholic schools. And um, we met together as parents to talk about this, and Francesca spearheaded the effort and went full steam ahead. The Catholic Coalition was created to advance and promote special education in Catholic schools in Washington, D.C. and Maryland by awarding grants and providing technical assistance to schools. I've watched this organization grow and grow, and I'm proud to be part of a good group of people that I think is a foundation for bigger things to come. Knowing that there's an organization out there that can partner with you and be there with financial resources was almost liberating when we knew that we could go to CCSE and say, this is what we're trying to do, will you help us? Training of teachers, as well as finding special education teachers, is probably the biggest challenge, to find the money for that. And then those teachers help all the other teachers. It's a good thing for all of us. Acids are right here. Our tuition assistance to teachers program will help pay tuition for teachers and other professionals who are interested in pursuing special education degrees. And this will help offset the chronic and pervasive shortage of special education teachers that exists nationally. Ben Stiebeck, who is our first student in this program, his mother and father came to me and kind of asked, is there something that you could do for Ben? Is there some way that we could get Ben included into the program here? Thanks to Mrs. Stiebeck and Mr. Stiebeck's insistence and persistence and not taking no for an answer, we've been blessed with starting something here that I hope will continue for a long time. Mr. Fitz came to me and presented me with the idea, and of course my first question back to him was, and how are we going to pay for this? The Catholic Coalition came along and in the first year gave us a magnificent grant which almost completely funded the beginning of the program. We needed the funding for CCSE to make this happen. If we didn't have the funding, I'm not sure we could have done this program. Well, I was very excited that we were getting yet another student with Down syndrome. We're really brothers here, and the friendships that you make here are ones that you'll have for the lifetime. So I think that this is an excellent move for Ben and Andrew. When my daughter Teresa came along, it was very important to us that she be a, a member of the community the same way our older children were. We already had five of the broken children in our school. And I can remember going to a faculty meeting and saying to the teachers, there's no way we can say no to that baby coming to our school. I received a card from the principal at St. John's that said, you know, when Teresa is, is in kindergarten, we're going to be ready for her. I think it's a matter of just realizing that once you say, I'm going to do it, God's graces take over, and people start jumping on with you and try to help you to do it too. Well, Lucy thinks of herself as being a regular kid, even though she knows that she has Down syndrome. She likes to be part of just being with all regular girls. So I think that has really brought out the best in her. I think it's definitely a positive experience. It's broadened my view of life. It just gives you a whole other perspective. Um, and it definitely makes for a more diverse community. The 
benefits they've given us far outweigh anything we could ever offer them. They really have. Uh, this is a real uh, hidden secret, that people with special needs present enormous learning opportunities to those who don't have special needs. Enormous learning opportunities about the value of courage, about the value of determination, about the openness that comes with the simple gifts of love and tolerance and acceptance. It has brought to our school a real understanding of all human nature and of all God's gifts to us. We have seen a sense of self-worth in Ben that I don't see in a lot of other kids with special needs. A sense that, that God has a purpose for him and that he's going to meet that purpose. And I'm seeing that develop in Benjamin and it's amazing. Teresa believes in herself because other people believe in her.